Hello, Star Wars. <clears throat> Hello, Star Wars fam, and welcome back to a yet, and welcome back to yet another video, and welcome back to yet another video. I am sure you all have an opinion on Darth Vader's character in the entire series, be it in the movies, comics, animated series. We all know him, but we all feel differently towards him, mainly because many people who see Vader as a villain know the story from the action-packed films. Well, comics gave us a broader view of his personality, and more so, and most importantly, the history behind the character that has been surprising and shocking as more and more things are cleared about the Star Wars universe. However, in this video, we are not going to wander off in the immense world, but we will be talking about the soft side of the Sith Lord. Does he even have the ability to make friends? If so, he was the man Vader may have considered his friend in all of the Empire. Let's talk about that. After he had lost everyone he had ever loved, and being encased in a life support system that disconnected him with the world even further from the world around him, it made Vader feel nothing more than loneliness, despair, and hate towards everyone else and himself. This ever-growing hatred and a constant reminder that he will never be a normal person ever again and this suit is the only reason he is alive. It made him a man that everyone on the Empire and Imperials feared who worked alongside him. Another reason of this fear was his constant executions on even the simplest mistakes. Those punishments that led to deaths were fueled by Vader's absolute disdain toward Imperial officers. As he viewed many of them to be lazy, cowards who only gained their positions due to nepotism rather than actual talent or hard work. There were not many people who gained his respect in all the Empire. This included those men who served him in the 501st Legion to a few higher-ups such as Grand Moff Tarkin. However, these people and Vader's relationship with them was purely professional and nothing beyond that. His respect for them was in the professional terms. But these relationships were mainly professionals and didn't go beyond that. Even Palpatine viewed Vader as nothing more than a tool for him to use, to which Vader came to quickly realize as the case after being nearly killed by his Sith Master, who sent assassins after him to test if he was still powerful enough to survive, as well as frequently seeking to replace Vader by someone more powerful than him. However, there was one person in the Empire whom Darth Vader may have genuinely liked, and perhaps even considered to be his friend. His name was Irv Lakauf. Irv Lakauf was an Imperial lieutenant who served as Vader's personal aide during the first two years of the Galactic Empire's reign. When he first met Lakauf, Vader noticed Lakauf to be vastly different from other Imperial officers. For one, he wasn't afraid to throw himself into action and fight alongside Darth Vader, even in fights that were likely to result in his death, such as when he helped Vader fight off multiple assassins one of whom was a dark Jedi sent by Palpatine to test his apprentice's worth. Seeing how the assassins outnumbered them, Vader expected Lakauf to either retreat or let the Dark Lord deal with them alone. But that was the exact opposite of what he did, and he instead joined Vader and fought off the assassins alongside with him. After having fought alongside each other on multiple occasions, both of them began to respect and even admire each other. Vader soon discovered Lakauf's love for his family back on Coruscant and how he was a well-loved family man, which gave him another layer of being an honorable man. Vader began to reward Lakauf for his loyalty and courage, with one instance recommending him to be cloned for an Imperial secret project that sought to create new clone armies using new DNA templates. Lakauf was honored with the recommendation and later oversaw some of his clones being created who were grown in less than a year. During the cloning program, Lakauf met Emperor Palpatine in person and oversaw Vader practice duel with Force-sensitive clones created from DNA samples of Dark Jedi that served the Empire, some of which were actually created from the Dark Jedi that was sent to assassinate Vader earlier. Vader, Palpatine, and Lakauf later took a shuttle back to Coruscant. But during their trip, they were attacked by a traitorous emperor's hand named Shivan, who sought to kill the emperor. Shivan was accompanied with a few force-sensitive clones that he had compromised to make them only obey him. 
During this close combat inside the shuttle, LeCount used a flamethrower to take down the rogue clones while Vader dueled Chevon. However, during the battle, LeCount jumped in front of Vader as a means to shield him from flames that the Force-sensitive clones redirected from his flamethrower. He ended up taking the full hit of the fire, resulting him being badly burned. Chevon and his clones were quickly defeated after that, once Vader's rage took over him. Soon after defeating them, Vader quickly came to LeCalf and began to comfort him, using the Force to ease his pain and keep him alive. It is also the first time, and maybe only, Vader has done such a thing for anyone. LeCalf was able to survive the attack and underwent medical treatment, but was left with severe burns, which reminded Vader of himself after his duel with Obi-Wan on Mustafar. After spending weeks in a Bacta tank to treat his burns, LeCount was released from medical care. He went on to retire afterwards and spent time with his family on Coruscant. Raising his grandson, named Jory, whom he would constantly tell stories to about his adventures with Darth Vader, and how much he admired the man. LeCount's story ends there, only being later mentioned by his grandson Jory, who looked up to his grandfather. He later recanted his grandfather's admiration toward Darth Vader to his friends and jokingly talked about how he may have been a little crazy for all the things he did alongside the Dark Lord. Jory LeCalf and Darth Vader's grandchildren, Jedi Knights, Jaken Solo and Ben Skywalker, served in the Galactic Alliance Guard together. Jory would even go on to become a corporal in the Guard as well. He told Skywalker and Solo how much his grandfather talked about Darth Vader and how much he liked and respected Vader. It is also revealed at this point that Irv LeCalf had a bigger hand in raising Jory than his own parents, and Jory looked up to him more because of it. It is probably the only wholesome story that will ever be written with the name Darth Vader in it, despite some painful experiences. Anyways, what do you guys think? Share in the comments below! If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. May the Force be with you.